Hi guys, let's start the next question, which is question number five, part two. It says draw frequency polygon part A using histogram and part B without using histogram. So I am doing part A first, uh, which is with using histogram. So let's see. Using histogram, I will still need uh, to figure out in my mind what I need to plot. So I know my previous frequency to this would be negative 5 to 5. I notice that this is continuous, so I don't need to do anything. Negative 5 to 5 will be my previous frequency. And then the last one will be 65 to 75. My frequency will be 0 and my class mark here will be 0, 10, 15 plus 5, 20. So I need to go up by, so this is what my class marks will be. So in my mind, I know what I, so I need to go up to 0 for sure. So then let me, this will help me understand how I want to take my x and y axis. I am increasing by 10, so I will take this as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and 80. Perfect. In terms of y axis, I have to go up to 80. I have only 12 here, so okay, then I should take difference of 2 which means each block is 2, which means I need only 9 such heights. So this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and 20. Perfect. This is y axis I have written. This is x axis I have written. Here I am plotting class interval, I write here I am plotting frequency. Right? Please note whatever, I'm plot, whatever is the question required, that's exactly what you will write. For example, in question 4, they are talking about daily wages. So you will plot daily wages instead of class interval. Perfect. So let me make my first uh, histogram which is between 5 and 15. Uh, this is joint. This is will be 5 exactly between 0 and 10 and it goes up to 15. No, it goes up to 8. Sorry, the frequency is 8. My mistake. So it's 8. So this is 5 and 15 will be exactly between 10 and 20. Right? I am not able to use a scale on this software. You will use a scale. I repeat and repeat. You will use a scale. Without a scale, you get a direct zero. Next is 15 to 25, which is 16. So this is going up to 16. And here in the middle, I will draw this using a scale, which I do not have. You will draw using a scale. This is 15 to 25. Next is 25 to 35, which is going up to 18. It's 25 to 35 going up to 18. Perfect. I will, you will use a scale. Next is going up to 14, which is from here to here. Ah, I should be more careful. Next is 8. So this is 8. And I will join using a scale. Next is up to 2. 60, 55 to 65 is only up to 2. Notice that all blocks or all histograms are of equal width, like the way we used to do it in our bar graphs. Though this can be different as well, but I will not get into that now. Next, we need to plot it. We need to make the frequency polygon, which means I look at the midpoint of each of my uh, histogram of each of the bar. So here, these are the midpoints that I'm marking. And I notice that I have to draw one in advance before the first uh, class interval and one after the last class interval. So here I join them using a scale. I can't say this mode often, 
you will join this using a scale. Unfortunately, I do not have a software which allows me use of scale. This software does not have scale. Thank you. So I will see you in the next video. This is me made the histogram and the polygon, frequency polygon. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.